Hi guys, today we want to have a look at how basic automation works and how to use it in a track. This is what we're going to do today. But at first, what is automation? Automation will let you adjust parameters and knobs on time with your track. If you want to cut off low frequencies for the intro like this, you need to automate the low cut band. For this, you need to right click on the knob you want to automate and select create automation clip. Now you can see the automation clip in your playlist view. With dragging and right clicking on the existing control points, you can change the linear curve to different types of forms from smooth curves to single curves, double curves or waves and pulses. You can add more control points with right-clicking inside the automation. Hold shift while dragging to locked vertical position or control to lock the horizontal position. Now you can create automation clips and edit them to your very own automation clips. For deleting automation, you need to right click on the automation icon and select delete. Make sure to delete the event in your picker and under patterns in your current project. Otherwise, the automation is not fully deleted. Now we want to automate interesting effects like the vinyl history mode from our latest plugin release, Finisher Retro. This effect mode will put your track back to the 50s, but I want this effect only at the beginning, so I need to automate it. In this case, I've added the effect to a single channel that needs to be routed to the two samples in the beginning. Now I can adjust the wet signal by turning the volume of this channel up and down. For automating it, just right click on the volume slider and select Create Automation Clip. As you can see, the intro will now fade from a very vintage style to a very modern style. Please note that the top of the volume slider is at 80%, but the top of the automation curve is 100%. For limiting the automation scale, double click on the clip bar and set the max slider to 80%. As you can see, now the top of the automation clip is limited to 80%. In the next step, I want to add a smooth fade in for the vocal chorus. For this effect, right click the sample icon and go to Automate and select Volume. Perfect. The next thing we want to add is reverb automation on the drums, but only before the chorus to create some tension. FL Studio is handling automation different from native to third party plugins. You cannot easily right click on every knob or parameter you want to create an automation clip with. You need to tweak the parameter you want to automate a bit and then right click on the motor link icon and select create automation clip for the last tweaked parameter. And this way you can create automation clips for every plugin and Fruity Loops. Make sure that you stay on the same value between the control points. Copy your value from the beginning control point and paste it to the next control point. Sometimes the value changes between the different control points while dragging the automation curves. 
Another thing we want to add is more drum panning, at the same time the reverb comes in. For this, we need to tweak the finisher knob a bit and right click on the multi link icon. Select Create Automation Clip and copy the state from the reverb automation. Adjust a bit and done. At last, we want to add some variation to the drums with a man with memory mode. Again, tweak the knob you want to automate, right click on the multi link icon and create an automation clip. Now adjust the curves to a final state you like and we're done with creating our automation clips in this track. Thanks for watching. We hope you learned something new today and please enjoy the final result. Thank you.